Now, you have seen this piece of wood on a number of other occasions. Nothing gets wasted in this workshop. Apart from time and paint and sandpaper. Hello and welcome to this week's video and what better way to start a project than to have a whole box of spray paints arrive. There were some lovely reds in the bottom but I've gone blue this week, similar to last week. Oops. But I'm also going for this some uh, much more marked and dramatic uh, texture, I hope. Um, so you can see, look at all those radial sanding lines on there. To be honest, I wasn't that much bothered about them because they're going to be covered with paint. Uh, one coat of white, a light blue, and then a slightly darker blue, and I think possibly even one other darker blue. And uh, yep, yeah, there we go. And final color, a coat of uh, gray, a nice sort of lead sea gray. Hmm, although maybe not quite. Anyone seen the sea that colour? To finish it off, a little bit of sea foam on the top. And look at lovely thick globs of paint. I like this bit. <clears throat> if it had done that all over, I might not have got my lollipop sticks out. But it didn't do that all over. And anyway, the lollipop sticks were what I was really wanting to use on this. Um, to pull through uh, lines of colour running from the top to the bottom to see what that looked like. What was the point of putting all those other blues on if we didn't see them? And don't they look glorious? I have had a go with this similar technique on the rim of a platter and that will feature in a future video. You can see all the colours blending together nicely and some of it is running. I think at the top of the screen now is probably the bit where there was a large blob of paint that fell off. It seemed to perhaps be a bit thicker on one side than the other. There you see it again running around. And possibly I could have left it a little longer between the colours, but uh, you can't see um, the tip of it, but I have got a heat gun now beginning to gently tickle the surface and uh, speed the drying of that up. And of course, the layers below aren't dry. And so as the solvents escape, get these lovely bubbles appearing. And really what I want those bubbles to do is pop. Preferably without me burning the paint like I've done on one or two other of these experiments. They're looking nicely bubbling there. Puts me in mind of frying a poppadom. Anyway, here we go. Look at that, beginning to, to blister and pop open. That's what I'm looking for. You can see it shifting. Come on, pop. Here's where a bit of paint fell off. Um, never mind. This is all about a complete lack of symmetry, this piece, apart from the shape, of course. It is worth mentioning, as I have in the past, that just because you're going to cover something with paint, it doesn't matter what shape it is. That is far from true. Painted, ugly shapes still look ugly. So overall, I'm quite pleased with this one. You can see bits of paint flapping around in the in the heat gun and there's a bit more sliding off the side. Coastal erosion, that's called. Um, but it'll dry hard. My previous experiments with this have said found that the paint does dry to quite a, a you know, it's quite solid. It's quite resilient. You can push it, squeeze it. It's not going to chip or flake off. Uh, even though, as I said, you can see some of them flapping about there in the in the air from the from the hot air gun. But give this a go. Just make sure you wear proper vapor rated respirators. The the vase I adore, and I know it looks quite flaky, but actually that I'm rubbing quite hard. It, the paint actually is very solid. A few places around here where it's perhaps a little bit more fragile but I actually know it's 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 holding very nicely so uh, this one will be finished but what I've got to work out is is what finish to put on it I think if the paint does need something so I think I probably will 
I'll try some lacquer, but I think I would go for the the um, matte or satin lacquer. Uh, I think probably this is my favourite part round here. This bit here. Really like that. I'm going to be doing a sea foam series. And then a volcanic series. But in terms of what I can actually film this weekend, that's as far as I can get, I'm afraid. Um, I've got to wait for this to dry another day or so. That's the problem with working with paint. And that's why I prefer stains. Oh, thanks for watching.